Hey. Well, hello. Hello to you. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you again. It's been about a year. I think yeah. it was a year ago. Yep. Exactly a year ago. Yep. How the sun. I'm blinded by the sun, but I'm good. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, I'm really excited to uh, catch up because I know that um, you've had excellent things happening, right? New oh. single just came out. Running out of time. Yes, it's out there. Sweet. Oh. Okay. Now, what happened over the last year for you and uh, getting your new music out there? Well, basically what I've been doing is just, you know, the past year, just been in the studio, just trying to gather the material together. You know, I have a lot of material coming with, uh, you know, myself, you know, just exploring as a solo artist, just trying mm. to pick the right songs and the direction that I'm trying to go. So I've just been trying out new material, man. It's been coming together really well. How many songs do you have ready to uh, put out there? Ten. Full album. Full album, but the thing is, it's a single-driven world now. So we're just uh -huh. gonna release release it as we go. You know, we just have a bunch of singles to go. Unless kick up your heels, entertainment. You know, have another strategy for me. Mm -hmm. Like right now, we're just going with the singles. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, what can we expect to be coming out here? Like, obviously running out of time. Have you been doing some videos? You know what? I haven't decided yet to do a video for running out of time yet. So, like, right now it's doing good in the record pool. You know, we're number one. The DJs are starting to receive it. Sweet. And I'm so excited about it. And they're starting to pick it up and play it. So, if we get a little bit more buzz on it where, you know, it calls for a video, I'm going to do a video. What I was going to do, though... Um, what I was planning is doing like um, a concert, right? And film the whole thing where like, it looks like the camera is um, coming into the concert and then, you know, going through the crowd and then bam, it's like a, a real long video of all the songs that I put out so far oh. on me. So I'm thinking about doing the video that way instead of doing just one video for one song. Even though I do have like all, all the songs I put out, I have a video for, mm -hmm. but there's no live footage of oh. me actually singing the records like that. So I want to give the people something more with me actually performing. How many performances have you got to do in the recent months? Well, you know what, because uh, COVID has been hitting, mm -hmm. so I, I haven't really gotten too many shows off with uh, the group Riff or with myself. It's been about three this yeah. year so far, but um, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure, you know, because stuff is starting to open, so, you know, I'm going to start to move and shake and Teddy stages down. It's going to happen. Yes. <laughs> And I feel like it's got to feel so good to get back up there in front of people. Oh, I'm so excited about it. I love it. I love the energy. I love just looking at, you know, I'm looking at the space, but those first three rows, like just when they, they look in, it, it feels great. I can't, I can't wait to get back to that. Well, one thing I wanted to talk to you a bit about today when I was like, oh, Nitty's going to be on the show. Uh -huh. is I really want to expand a little more about New Jack Swing okay. because obviously we talk about 90s a lot. This is show is the 90s, a lot of it, right? All right. All right. So um, White Men Can't Jump, when you guys did that song, to me that right. was like the epitome of a great New Jack Swing song. Oh, man. You yes. are correct. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. It was. Um, so you want me to expand on that? And tell, sure. tell you how that, how, how that went down. Yeah, and how kind of New Jack became a sound that you really like were into and invested in at the time. Well, in the 80s, Teddy Riley and, uh, uh, started doing songs for Keith Sweat and Bobby Brown and 
guy. He happens to be one of my favorite producers. I was lucky enough to actually sign with Teddy. So, you know, I was like at, I was at yes. my highest highs, like just watching how he work and stuff. So Teddy is the creator, right? Mm. Um, and like I said, we did get a chance to work with him, Riff. And then as I switched over to work with Men of Vision, Men of Vision was actually signed to Teddy Riley. And Teddy Riley had the record deal with Michael Jackson, MJJ Records. So mm. he was responsible for the project that we put out with Men of Vision. But just watching Teddy and everybody that he had a chance to sit and work with and all of the hits, man, I was hoping that we could have got some of that stuff from him. And we did, we, 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 we got some of that Teddy Riley, but let me tell you, Dallas Austin, who is the creator of uh, TLC sound. Yeah. TLC, you know, that whole TLC vibe that was Dallas Austin and, Dallas Austin was responsible for Boys to Men's first project, their sound. So us getting the call from our record company at the time, SBK Records, um, you know, explaining to us that there was a movie that was coming out and we had the title cut on the album. So what we had to do, they wanted us to fly down to Atlanta to work with a producer named Dallas Austin. We're like, oh yeah, we know Dallas. Yeah. And we got down, well, they sent us the record. Um, and of course we had to learn it quick. And of course we learned the acapella first. Mm. And we actually got down to DARP Studios in Atlanta and Dallas came into the studio and was like, yo man, Y'all ready? It was like, it was like, yeah. They got rid of all of the management. It was like, management, y'all go home. We got a vibe with the group. So it was him and his partner, Randy. And it was like, do y'all know the song? It was like, yes, okay, let's pray first. So we prayed. When we came out of the prayer, he said, okay, let me hear the song. Let me see what y'all know. So we went into it, you know, sometimes you had to do wipe. And we started doing the song and acapella. He was like, oh man, this is awesome. Let's go. I was looking for him to cut the track on for us to do it, but he was like, now nah, I want to hear y'all do it a cappella. He's, to me, a lot of producers at that time wasn't nailing that new Jack Swing sound as hard. Like Teddy Riley was the creator. You had a lot of imitators, mm. but Dallas Austin was one of those ones that had that new Jack Swing with a little extra stuff yeah, added to it, man, and it was just an honor working with him, man. He's just one of the best in the game today. He's still one of the best in the game. Complete legends. Oh, do you, legends. Do you think Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis had a part in New Jack as well, especially when they were doing stuff with Janet, right? You know what? I don't, I don't really consider what Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis was doing New Jack Swing. Yeah. This is my personal opinion. I think... Mm. They had their own swing, you know, that mm. Minneapolis sound, that funk. They had that nasty to it, man. And Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis had a different sound, just like Babyface had a different sound. Yeah. Like everybody, you know, it was competitive. They, you know, the producers were competitive. It was only three strong producers on the airwaves at that time. It was kind of, it was weird. As far as the New Jack swing, it was Teddy Riley, of course, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, Babyface, and then Dallas came along, you know, like mm. that, that was really putting in that New Jack swing sound. Those were the three guys and Eric Sherman from EPMD. Oh, I'm glad you Eric, bring that up. Eric Sherman. Yeah. He also had a real strong influence on that particular sound. You know, like Teddy was owning it with, you know, he was bringing it in the eighties with, you know, Dougie Fresh, Heavy D and the Boys, Big Daddy yeah. Kane, um, um, uh, um, 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 who else? Um, Kumo D, 
Like Teddy, Teddy was bringing it way back then with that type of stuff. Then Keith Sweat, then Guy, then of course Black Street. You know mm. what I mean? So, but during our era, 1991, it was Teddy Riley, Babyface, Jimmy Jim, and Terry Lewis, EPMD. Yeah, Eric Sherman was bringing that new Jack Swing so heavy. It's a great sound, man. It's, it sucks that it's not here no more. It makes me mad. Oh, you know, the closest thing I've heard would have to be what Bruno Mars did. You are on your music game. With yes. finesse. Yes. Oh my goodness. When I heard that song, I was elated. I was like, could this really be the beginning of it coming back? I was like, Listen, please. We was praying. <laughs> we were praying that this was going to happen. I'm like, yo, if this happened, you're going to see everybody drop albums. Yeah. Because everybody, I want to say all the artists from the 90s, like I want to say those that are still going out on the 90s shows that they're doing and stuff like that, these guys have material. They're just not dropping them because they don't have a platform for it. Mm. So, they're, so they're working off of their songs that they did back in the 90s that were hits. They're just going out, they're singing the hits, man, getting the check, going back home. And they're in the kitchen cooking now. Don't, don't, don't get it. They're in the kitchen cooking, but everybody is doing what they do. They have projects, but it's a different, it's a different game now, man. The music, music has changed so bad, man. It's such a feel good sound that I can't see how it can't return, you know, like, yeah, you know, the way things just come back around again, it's just, it seems so right for it to happen, but it's frustrating. I want more. <laughs> oh my God. You are, you are not the only one, man. Like this, there's, there's so many people that's feeling for that era to just sweep back through and, and just get back on the airwaves the way I used to, man. It's funny because it was just so many groups out. Like when I was growing up, I was, Addicted to New Kids on the Block, mm. um, New Edition, mm. you know what I mean? The Force MDs. These mm. were the groups that I wanted to be like. Of course, I listened to Prince and Michael Jackson and George Michaels. Like, I kind of felt those guys, you know? And everything before that, I'm not even gonna lie, there was so much music being played in my house. But as far as groups, these were the groups that I really, because they was like in my age bracket. I'm like, okay, this is, this is, this is what I wanted to do. So just to, to watch their careers and to actually get the chance to like meet these guys mm. and, uh, you know, learn what they know. And, you know, it's just been a great ride, man. I, I, I pray that uh, they say, it comes back around. So we're going to, we're going to, you know, I, I really hope I'm here to see it, mm -hmm. to see like the urge of that type of music to come back and just, just put a dent back in the music industry. It's just, it's just so bad that it's, it's, it seems like they actually shut the door on that sound, man. There was so many good groups out. It doesn't make sense because that sound was just, it was it was making money. It, there's no oh, reason yeah. why it shouldn't uh, in some way return. But I would say like some of the best ones that I remember I really enjoyed was Belle Biv DeVoe at the time. I still oh, do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And and, uh, and the Dangerous album, Michael Woo! Jackson, was a hot oh. album. Oh, my God. That was, that's one of my favorite albums, man. It's just, yeah. It just hits so hard. It hits so hard. That album yeah. is incredible. I can't let her get away. A, oh my a song god. like that. Oh my god! Yeah. Listen, we couldn't afford our record company. Actually, didn't want to pay Teddy Riley that type of money to work on our whole album, mm -hmm. but we was able to work with a New Jersey guy where we're from. We were able to work with Bernard Bell, who actually produced the Dangerous album with Teddy. Oh, wow. you know what I mean? So we were hoping that we were going to get some of that. But Teddy Riley is Teddy Riley. You, you, if you don't have <laughs> Teddy, you, you just you just don't 
you just not get it. That's the bottom line. Just hoping a little bit, just a little bit of that flavor would be. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, we was hoping for it, but it, it didn't didn't happen. But it's all good. I got. I did get a chance to work with them, though. I did get a chance to actually sit in the studio and vibe out and learn, and that's mm-hmm. how I was able to like sit down, man, and like grow and look at the industry what it you know what it what it has become and trying to sing songs like what's going on today on the radio without compromising the way i sing you know what i mean yeah. i'm not going to change the way i sing like if you go back and listen to me sing on any of the records that i was on i pretty much still sound the same you know what i mean i'm not you know, I think I sound better now, you know, because I know how to produce and write myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. These records that I've been doing, I've been producing and writing these songs. So I've learned a lot along the way. So just looking to drop good music and stay productive and keep grinding and just putting out songs and getting on these shows and flatlining these stages flatlining yes. that means killing these buildings Flat, flatlining i love and that just, and just having fun that's that's all that's that's pretty much what it's all about i don't even do it for the money i do it for just just fun mm-hmm. and the culture man just 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 to be on stage and putting out records that people can possibly enjoy is fun it's happy. It's it's yeah. it's a wonderful thing. And I'll play some clips of the new stuff on the show so people get a taste of it too, so they can hear the new the new songs you're working on and they're out it. now. Yeah. Uh what over the last year, what has there any like huge new changes in your life or like coming out of like we know we're not out of COVID, but we're in a better place than we were, right? Correct. Any any big new changes otherwise that have been happening for you or the or the guys in Rift too? How's everyone well, doing? Everybody, you know, the guys is doing very well. You know, we're in the studio uh, creating. We're looking to put out an EP um, in October. We're looking to drop an EP in October along with a Christmas EP. So it's two EPs. We're going to drop the Riff ah. EP. It'll be about six songs and then we're going to drop a Christmas EP and sweet. we're trying to gear it more so to TikTok so that people can dance to it <laughs> and we get streams and it's a crazy world. You got to figure out how to navigate through this new music industry so yeah. that people, this, listen, I'm telling you no lie. The phone is the plug. Like everybody's here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you can, if you can be the plug right here this is how you become successful you have to get on this mother right here <laughs> <laughs> you have to, and you have to teach yourself how each of these apps work like how Come are you on. feeling about tiktok because it took me a while to adjust to it and now i love it you know what i'm really starting to understand it more just this past weekend you know but it took me a minute to get it because i would just take clips and put it up there but mm-hmm. there's a there's a method to it you know, if you want people to take what you did and redo it and like there's a clip up there with somebody doing prints. I don't give a fuck. Even in you owe it. Yo, they and it's like thousands of people <laughs> took this clip and made it their own, including me. <laughs> I took the Prince clip and you see like big celebrities, Janet Jackson, Mariah Carey, like everybody's on TikTok. Mm. And I'm like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta get on TikTok somehow. So with our music. So I think like we're gonna gear our music towards that so that people can be able to take it and reuse it and share it, and make videos off of what we've done. Mm. And that's how you get back in the game. So it's a big strategy to it now, man. Everything, people are becoming millionaires off of uh, TikTok yeah. and off of Instagram, 
the web period like people are becoming like big big deals so this is what we've been trying to find out so like i said just this weekend i'm starting to understand how algorithms work and mm -hmm. how how tiktok actually work and so I, I have no choice but to dive in i have to dive in if i want to be here like 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 getting people to see it i have to dive in so that i can be able to come to your city yeah and sing for you you know what i mean i will yeah. never be able to come if that doesn't happen if i don't get back on a major label right now i'm independent you know what i mean and i'm doing well as an independent artist but of course the, there's yeah. there's major players if i get back to that level you know hopefully but right right now it's all about social media yeah 2022 you have crazy. to navigate that stuff it's crazy it's a good tool when you it is are, a good tool <laughs> when you're able to utilize it right but and i mean like i like the fact that we can represent your music here in canada on this show too cuz the show's international but i'm in canada there's got to be a special it. place there you're not too i love far canada away. I love Canada. I, let me tell you something. I love Canada so much. Um, we were on tour with Vanilla Ice, man. There was a hot DJ out there. His name was Tarzan Dan. I don't yes. know if you really know Tarzan Dan. You, okay, so you remember Tarzan? Tarzan? Yeah. Yo, that was my guy, 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 guy. Okay, <laughs> that was my guy. I, I, I just, I love his energy and what he was trying to do when we were out there, man, Canada was the spot for us, man. You know, we were on tour with Vanilla Ice at that time, but we love coming to Canada. I can't wait to get out there by myself. I'm, I'm dying to get back there. So mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. It'd be nice to put a good tour together with some artists too that come across the border together. I noticed from your Instagram that you were just saw a new edition. You went to the tour, right? I was, I listen. <sighs> I just got my memorabilia from the from the tour. Look, I Let's got see. I got my. Uh, you see this? Yes. This is the new edition VIP Lammy. I just got that. Hold on. Yes. I just got my Cool It Now <laughs> NE NE coffee cup. It keeps it nice and hot. I got some Death Wish coffee in here. It keeps it keeps you wired. I got my hand sanitizer in e hey. hand sanitizer. Hold on. <laughs> and oh, I that's my, smart. I have my new edition button that, you know, it's my little pen, you know. I'm a mm -hmm. big fan of NE and New Kids on the Block. These are my yes. people. Yes. I am fans of these guys. I As messed we around. Speak. Listen, I messed around and got second row. I went to two concerts. I caught the culture tour. So yes. I, I went to two concerts and I got second row, man. And I didn't get a chance to get back and see him backstage, man. Aww. So I was tight. I was scarred. I was scarred. So I'm hoping I get a chance to see him again. But yeah, it's my favorite group of all time. Them and New Kids on the Block and Force MDs. There is rumor of a new edition, New Kids on the Block 2023, but it's just a rumor. Not to get too excited. Are you going? Do you got tickets for the mixtape tour? Who's who's on the mixtape tour? So new kids are headlining. Then it's Salt and Peppa and Vogue and Rick Astley. I have tickets for that. Yes, I have yep. tickets. I do have tickets. They're going to be here in, I want to say Connecticut, and I'm going to be going to two shows. I think they're doing two shows out there. I'm going to be there. Are you coming? I'm coming. I'm going to the West Coast. I'm going to fly down to California and watch two shows. Listen, yep. I am excited. <laughs> Me too. I'm excited because I'm going to the after parties, Good. you know, of course. So I'm, hopefully I get pictures with Donnie. Donnie will come out and take pictures with everybody. That's what he do. So yeah, I'll definitely be in the midst of that. Good. Can't isn't wait. He, isn't he amazing? Hey, Donnie oh, is... Spreads, listen, spreads love. listen, every guy that sings music that's in the industry should take a page from Donnie Wahlberg, business model, and do what he do, man. This guy 
is electrifying to his fans, man. He's loyal and he doesn't mm-hmm. care. And his fans take care of him. I would be petrified. I'm not going to lie because I've been in the mosh pit. <laughs> I've seen how women act and like how they rush the stage. They don't care who's here, man. They are coming past you, man. And they, <laughs> I don't want to be back in the mosh pit of any boy bands. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to do it. I'd rather, I'd rather either be backstage or like straight up in the back somewhere where I could just see the stage and enjoy the concert. Mm-hmm. But standing down there in the front, it don't work. I don't know how people do it. You're taking I, it, your life into your own hands there. Ooh, yeah. definitely. You're taking your life. I wouldn't have known. And you hear things. You hear things. It's a different type of talk down there. <laughs> and they're all women. Like, I didn't know. women now. So it's, it's much worse. <laughs> Listen, it is much worse. Exactly what she said. But you, the things you hear, you were like, yo. It's crazy. But I am I am looking forward to it. I can't wait. I always go to school when I go and see new kids and new edition. I, I pick up so much stuff from them. And mm. it's just a joy to watch what they do. I enjoy it. Well, I'm so glad that uh, we were able to bond on so much familiar music together. And yeah. I still want to make sure that we talk more about what you're up to before we sure. end our interview today. So yes, what is in store? Obviously the EP's coming up, the, the Christmas album. Now, have you guys done a Christmas album before or any Christmas singles? Riff never did. Uh, we did Christmas singles. Uh, we, there's a few of them out there, but we are um, planning on finishing up this Christmas EP and put out a, a little mini movie. Hmm. It's gonna it's gonna be called on this day, and this is um, our Christmas thing that we're gonna do along with the EP, the Christmas EP, and we're gonna drop a regular EP uh, that's geared towards TikTok, so that people will be. It's gonna be music. It's gonna be our music, original music that's geared to that, so that people will be able to take it and run with it. So. It's gonna be interesting. Still gonna, we're still gonna have that sound with five part harmony, five part soul mm. with a little bit of yesterday, a lot of today. It's the old sound, but in a new way. It's gonna still gonna be great music, but it's mm. gonna be geared so that people can get it, so we can get the get the notoriety. Because there's only clips that you can put there, but if people take it and do their thing, it's it's over, man. You can go triple platinum right there on TikTok. It's crazy. Yeah, right place, right time. Yeah, so we rock it. And we have the nitty green. Let me get it back on Nick. Yeah. We got, we got that running out of time, y'all. It's out there. Mm-hmm. It's doing very well in the DJ pools. And, you know, it's number one on the DJ pool. So that means DJs have it. And if, if, you, if you do not have hate in your blood, we're asking everybody to check the song out for yourself. Stream it. Mm-hmm. love it you're gonna love it it's a feel good record and tell somebody about it man i promise you if you do this you'll be blessed it's a great record it's a great record and i'm thinking about doing like i said instead of doing the one video i'm gonna do like like a collage of like my body of work that i've done as a solo artist so people can dig into me a little bit more as a solo artist yes yeah and then they'll get a good like taste for all the different types of songs that you've put together yes yes in one package and bigger, deal and it's bigger it's bigger like because I, I i i go a little bit extra you know with the production like i go in i put that live feel to it so you're going to see me with a band, you know, it's going to be great. It's going, mm-hmm. it's going to be great. I'm just excited about the whole movement. I'm excited for what's to come for you. And I'm excited to see you going out there live again. Oh, back into the world. So yes, that's going to be great. I can't wait to get to Canada though. I'm, I'm going to be looking for you too. Well, as soon as we get back, I'm going to be yes. looking for I'm going to make sure. I'm out West. I'm so far away. Where, where are you? I'm in Alberta. It's a city called Edmonton. 
How so far is Winner? How far is Winnipeg from you? Winnipeg is a. I'm gonna say a 16 hour drive east from me. Really, I'm gonna yeah. be working with. I'm I'm gonna be working with some producers out there on some music. So I really, the, so I can get on the Canada charts. You know, I'm trying to do everything I can, man. It's going down. Winnipeg. I'm thinking about moving to Cam Canada. Okay, I'll tour. <laughs> I'll give you a tour of the West Coast. Come Let's see the. Go. I'm out by the Rocky Mountains, so that's where you want to go. Oh, that's nice. It's beautiful, but you're in Winnipeg. Winnipeg is like the center of North America, geographically. Wow. It's cold. Wow. <laughs> that's what I heard. That's what I heard. I heard it's come freezing here. out there. Make sure you come here June or later. June Got to September, to. you're good. Okay, June to September. Let me write that down. We'll go. <laughs> listen, Don't let me even you. think about it in, in January. Forget it. No, listen. I've heard about it now. I've heard about. it. I'm like, yo, man. How do you? How do you live? I was talking to a producer, and he's like, yo, man. He said, I'm. I'm. He said, I drive on ice. Yep. All the time. Yep. I'm like, really? He says, I gotta go get food. He said, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm like, man. I hate the snow. <laughs> oh, I don't know how, because I'm born and raised here. That's why I'm here. But honestly, I don't know how I drive on this stuff. Like I have studded tires. Really? Yeah, we literally, those are our winter tires. Like just to make sure, like you're taking your life in your hands when you go out to the grocery store or drive to work some days. But You have hey, studded tires for real. For real. Yeah, they got little, little uh, metal studs in them. Listen. I need you to take a picture. Okay. And 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 send it through Messenger. I want to see these studded tires. I will. I'll get I you a shot. I want to see this. Yes, I want to see it. No, <laughs> they're tiny. It so it doesn't look like great big studs cuz that would be cool. That, yeah, that would, would be tear awesome. up the asphalt. Oh my god, that would be <laughs> awesome. That would be awesome. But yeah, I'll show you what they look like. Okay. Awesome. Good. So, yes. Oh, thank you so much. It's always nice to catch up and Nitty, keep putting out new music. We'll keep sharing it on the show. Whenever we have some new stuff that you're dropping, I'm going to put out on the news section of the show. Yeah. Check out Nitty's new song. Listen to me. I appreciate it so much. Listen, my gratitude runs deep. Everybody, man, that is on board that like, love good music and see that yeah i'm i i'm i'm at all like when pe people be like yo man keep doing what you're doing i love that and i really appreciate this i appreciate your platform thank you so much and everybody if you're not doing thing on sundays every sunday at 7 p.m please stop by my podcast vibe sessions um, we come on at 7 p.m. every Sunday, Eastern Standard Time, Vibe Sessions, where we talk life, love, and music. We have some of the coolest guests. You know, we have some of the uh, celebrities from the 90s. You know, I have them come in, sit in, and we talk life, love, and music. So mm -hmm. if you guys are not do it, doing nothing, stop through and hang out with us, man. Okay, perfect. Do you have a trailer for that podcast? Yes. Like it, can I get Kat Katrina to send it to me so I can play sure. it on our show? Sure. I appreciate I like, it. I like to rotate trailers on each episode and then I can keep you in the mix. You are awesome. Yeah, no problem. I'm excited to do that. So, all right. And, and I really, really hope to see you soon. We're going to come out to Canada and we'll, we'll hang. All right. I'm excited. And I want Thank you to you enjoy so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy the mixtape tour and yes. all, the, all the stuff you guys are doing in the studio. Can't wait to Thank hear it. You. Thank you so much. Okay. Take care. All right. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> bye. All right. Bye-bye.